Okay, here. Yeah. Alright. So, for the next uh, chapter that I'm going to cover will be the graving or marking onto a black tumbler. Right. So, I'm going to use... First of all, I was being sent uh, a photograph via WhatsApp. So, I'm going to import the photograph. Okay, so, this is the photograph being sent to me. It's from uh, WhatsApp. So, the resolution is not that fantastic. But, uh, because I'm going to use uh, this image to engrave onto a black tumbler. So, what I'm going to do will be I have to edit this image. Right? Okay. So, I'm going to uh, crop First of all, I'm going to crop this image first. I'm going to crop it down. Okay, because the size of M1, the size of engraving on the M1 is 105 by 105. So I'm going to crop this. Okay, after it's been cropped, go up the size so that I get a view of your faces. Alright, then uh, the next thing I'm going to go with, I have to resize uh, this image. I'm going to select mm, mm. the height. I'm going to go with 100 mm. The DPI I'm going to set at 318. Okay. Right, and the width will be automatically being uh, pushing it. I'm going to save this image. Right, so after it's being saved, I'm going to play around the brightness and the gamma value. So maybe I'm going to go with 1.5. Ideally, okay, 1.5. The brightness maybe is like onto the brightness and the contrast. I'm fine with that. And then I'm going to go with the, the sharpening. Maybe I go. With Hi. Okay, so from here, maybe I will go into the denoising. I'll just hit the apply onto the denoising. Okay, so I'm done with the editing of this image. Right, the next thing I'm going to go with will be the material. For this, I'm going to go with Morton and the material that I'm going to hit on will be onto the anodized aluminum or you can actually go with black out to the black so either way, it's very similar because it's a black tumbler so I'm going to go with nice aluminum okay, I'm going to hit once I hit apply the image has will be inverted so we do not actually have to hit the invert button down here because if we select the material once it's anodized aluminum or white top in the black it will automatically invert this photograph so you will notice the white here will become dark right so okay you will notice that fine there you go so this is the image has been inverted onto the it was being inverted okay so we can go and hit the preview and have a look okay we are happy with this i'm happy so i'm going to download this uh, image okay i will hit save so after i save this image onto my folder i will go into xcs and i will call up this file all right so i will go into the xcs all right so after on the xcs do make sure that you are on the laser cylindrical down here from flat you change it to laser cylindrical okay it's on to the roller right the settings right so for the settings i'm going to go with the ir and the dot i'm picking at 200 dots duration the power 100 because i'm using ir the DPI, I'm going to select at 1.8. The bitmap mode, I'm going to go with Sierra. Okay. So, with this, okay, sure that you hit on, you save it, or you position the uh, photograph actually on the edge of it. Because that is where it will rotate. 
okay so this is where you can be able to notice this is where it's going to rotate right so from here you will actually hit framing you go into the f1 machine and once you are happy with the position of where it's going to hit then well, i'll come back for the process right okay uh, currently what am i doing is uh, i'm gonna engrave a photo onto the IR to do this okay the tumbler is on top of the rotary and uh, inside the tumbler actually I put some weight okay I put water in the, the tumbler itself so um, just a photo the photo actually I have gone through image R and it's being processed I'm using a Sierra big map mode at this moment and you will just have to wait until it's finished you will reveal the uh, photo on this tumbler the image i did not invert the image at all because uh, in the process in the image R, it's already been done and i selected anodized uh, metal so you just have to wait a couple moments before it's done so it's actually coming up okay so we will just wait for it okay it's being done we will actually take a look all right so okay pretty neat this photo actually has been uh, forwarded or being sent to me via whatsapp so the resolution may not be that fantastic but the effect is pretty well okay let me recap on the uh, setting on this tumbler down here all right so this is using the ir all right and the it's using 200 dots duration at 100 percent power and the DPI is actually at 318, right? So it's Sierra bitmap mode, right? So it took about eight minutes for this tumbler size at 100, uh, the height, right? So almost the maximum of the, this, uh, the area that the F1 can be able to do the uh, engraving, right? So that's my setting. So, I'll see you in the next one.